Yo, what's going on with Ghost here? And today I'm gonna bring you guys another comparison video between the Growl and Craig. And I wanted to make this comparison because I recently picked up the Growl again, and this weapon has felt amazing. And it's reminded me a lot of the Craig, if not even a better version of the Craig. But we'll get into that a little bit later. But I just always felt like the Craig was a Growl 2.0. Um, and I got to using the original Growl, and that, that thing was a shredding, bro. But before we get into this comparison, I want to say if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 2000. We just hit 1.81K. We're like about 290, maybe even less subs away from 2000. Um, actually, I cannot do math. 190 subs. I cannot do math. I, I think in my last video, I might have said 290. Um, 190 subs away. So with that being said, man, if you could help a brother out, any subs is greatly appreciated. Also, you guys can give me a favor of hitting a follow on my Twitch channel. We are literally two followers away from 200. So please, man, help a brother out. But with that being said, man, let's get into this comparison. And then we have the recall pattern for the Growl. And as you guys can see, it isn't too crazy. But I got to be honest, this recall pattern doesn't do it justice because I feel like the Growl has way less recoil than that pattern illustrates. Um, and when you see the Craig's recoil pattern later on, you might feel like the Craig has less recoil based off these recoil patterns. But I got to be honest, for me personally... The Growl is a weapon that has a little bit less recoil and it's easier to control, which it's not really saying much considering that both these weapons are, you know, low to no recoil weapons and aren't the hardest guns to control. But, you know, for me personally, for my personal usage, I believe that the Growl is just overall better in terms of control and whatnot. But again, it's not like by a significant margin, it's by a slight margin, but you know how it is. But anyways, the, one reason, the, re the main reason I wanted to make this comparison was because the Growl has been, you know, Hasn't he really been in meta for a long time now. The last time it was in meta was when it ran Warzone. The Growl Zone, if you guys remember. Some of you guys may have not played at that time. Most of you guys probably have. But the ground meta, arguably one of the best metas of all time, is, or for Warzone Slash Man, you know, was the gun. And when the integration was first going to happen, I was looking for weapons that were going to be, you know, the top guns. And the Craig, based off the characteristics that it had in Cold War, you know, a low recoil, high damage weapon, same as the Growl, I was like, yo, this is going to be the next Growl. And... It took a while for it to become that next round. As you guys know, it actually took a bunch of updates in quite some time and a few horrible metas later for the Craig to actually get some sort of attention. And even then, I feel like the Craig hasn't really been the spotlight until like now. Like right now, this current season or this current patch or whatever you want to call it is I feel like where the Craig is the most dominant right now. And even then, the C58 is a weapon that many people consider to be better than the Craig. So even like now, like the Craig isn't like a true dominant AR. And honestly, I don't think it ever was a true dominant AR. Even though like it's been, it's had the capabilities of being a really good AR. But there's always been that one AR to compete for its number one spot. Whereas the Growl, it was the obvious number one. No weapon was able to like be better than it, and very few even came close to it. But anyways, in terms of range, bro, like both these weapons are obviously you know very good at range. But I would argue that the ground is slightly better because, you know, it's a modern warfare weapon. I've always felt like modern warfare weapons were superior to cold war weapons in range. Um, I think that, that might even be true today. Um, but this weapon, bro, like, who it actually took me a little bit to get used to because I'm so used to using ARs with sights now. So using a, a growl with a, you know, iron sight, even though the iron sight is very sexy. Um, using a gun just with iron sights at long range was a little bit, you know, a little bit tedious to me because, you know, I've been using the Craig, the FAR, the C58 for many seasons now, many months now. And even before that, I was using other guns with the three time scopes and whatnot. And it's been, you know, accustomed to me to now use a sight on my AR. Not that I'm dom not I'm, like, not dominant, not bad. Um, not that I rely on sights, but it was just a little bit, a change of pace. But the ground man definitely doesn't need a sight. I've seen some people try to use the VOK on it. And, you know, if you want to use the VOK because you think you need a sight on it, that's fine. Totally fine. You could just sub the, you could sub out the tech laser for the VOK. But it's all for personal preference because I personally do not like the VOK on the ground. I just never was able to get behind that. Um, but yeah, man, both of these guns are very solid options. But now, we're going to get into the Craig slash stats because this is going to get a little bit of interesting. So, let's do that. I apologize for the extension of that clip. I had to make sure you guys saw me, you know, destroy that second kid. But anyways, man, this is the recoil pattern for the Craig. And like I mentioned earlier, obviously by this, it seems to have less recoil than the Growl. But again, I feel like the Growl still has less recoil, easier to control. But at this point, 
Although it being kind of a relevant argument because both Enemy these weapons are, you know, low recoil range and control weapons, it's just going to come up to you, or it's going to be up to you to decide which weapon in your eyes is, you know, the easiest one to control and has less recoil. Um, again, for me, it's the ground. For you, it might be the crack. Who knows? But anyways, the first stat that I want to get into, or I want to, yeah, dive into is the fire rate. And this, I feel like, this statistic specifically, I feel like it's like the X factor between this compression. Because when you hear the damage, you're going to be kind of like confused as to why this competition is even happening because you might feel like the Craig is overwhelmingly better than the Growl. But trust me, this I feel like this fire is the, the X factor as to why I'm having this whole conversation. But anyways, the fire rate for the Craig is a 62 RPM and you're probably familiar by that if you're watching my videos because we've been doing the Craig a lot recently so you're probably familiar with that. And then on the other hand, we have the Growls which is 730 RPM. Now I know that that difference isn't like some crazy you know, over the top difference, but it's definitely a difference where you're going to be able to notice it and it's very effective in being able to have the ground compete Requesting with the weapon recon. such as the Craig. Um, whereas like the QBZ, if you guys remember, the QBZ has a way less difference to the Craig than the ground does because the, the QBZ was like like a 50, maybe even less 50 RPM, whereas the ground is like a 70 to 80. Which, to be honest, that detail to some might be minor, but trust me, I feel like that plays a big part in this comparison. Now, anyways, moving on to the damage for the Craig. So, for 0 to 38 meters, we have 45 damage to the head, 33 to both the chest and stomach, and then 30 to the extremities, which is the limbs. Now, on the other hand, for the Growl, at 0 to 31 meters, it is 42 to the head, 28 to the chest and stomach, and then 28 to the extremities. Now, I already did the math, and the difference between that is 3 bullets, which is actually pretty significant. Um, a three bullet difference is pretty significant considering certain situations and that's like 0 31 meters 0 38 meters that's like medium range close range you know those those engagements are you know every bullet does count um but then when we move on to the long range 38 meters and above the craig is 38 to the head 28 to both the chest and the stomach and then 26 to the extremities and then for the growl it is 31 meters and above 36 to the head, 24 to the chest and stomach, and then 24 to the extremities. Now, I know that based off this, now looking at it, the ground, oh, my bad, the crit at 38 meters and above is actually like the growl at 0 to 31 meters. So the damage that growl does at close range actually, is actually what the Craig does at long range, which kind of, you know, that might feel like it defeats the purpose, but trust me, bro, like, right now, in the current state of Warzone, where everything's like, higher time to kill, more bullets, you know, are needed to kill people, I feel like damage matters, but fire rate right now especially matters even more, and again, with that slight di fire rate difference, the Growl's able to be able to have an easier time competing with the Craig be than before, because look, damage is very important, obviously, you know, that's what gets you the kills, but the Craig has always had high damage, and when the far was meta, the Craig still has... A significantly more damage than the far and yet that gun wasn't like the true number one dominant AR. Now semi argues because um you know the far had easier recoil control or it was lower recoil than the Craig. But I actually believe that the reason why the far was the dominant AR was because of its fire rate because the fire rate was absurd. And you guys know how quick that fire rate was for that far. And I'm not saying that the growl comes anywhere near the far, which honestly, I don't even know the stats of the far, so I can't even say if it's close or not. But judging of how it, you know, sounded and how it felt, the far was, you know, obviously, it's obviously the overwhelmingly faster gun between the three. Uh, but, you know, the far is dead now, so it's really irrelevant. But that just goes to show that although weapon has more damage, fire rate does play a big factor. Again, like I mentioned, it's like the X factor of these comparisons because we've are, if you guys have been paying attention to my recent comparisons you you have seen that a lot of the weapons with faster fire rate although having being just overwhelmed by the damage of the other weapon they're still able to put up a fight because they have you know a faster fire rate and it puts the grout in an advantageous position in the close to medium range engagements at long range you know you can get a little bit tricky because again there's no sight on the ground, or for most people, if you use a ground, you're not going to use a sight, whereas the Craig has a sight, and that makes it, you know, easier to hit shots at long range. Um, damage, again, I feel like it matters a lot more over over distance than it in close range, but, you know, again, that all really comes down to personal ideology. Some people might believe that damage overall is the more important thing. Some people might believe the fire is the wrong thing. I've had this conversation with my friend one time before, so I don't, I don't know how, like, how crazy that argument is, but I know for a fact that me and my friend had that argument one time, and... 
you know, we had a different views on that. So some of you guys out there might also have that view. Well, to me, to be honest, I just feel like it's like this. Fire rate matters in closer engagement, like, yeah, closer distance engagements, and then damage matters over range. I feel like that's a very solid point. You know, I feel like many people could agree with me on that. But anyways, man, I hope that I was able to show you why the growl is a top gun, top gun candidate, and why it could potentially become or be the meta of the growl be brought back in season four. Now I know the update is right around the corner, season five. I mean, shit, we might not even see season five because the hackers in this game have been ridiculous and Warzone's been in shambles recently. But let's hope, let's pray for the best. Anyways, regardless, with that being said, let me know what you guys think about the growl. Let me know where you pushing rank it in the current AR meta of Warzone. And I'm in, man. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. And I'm out. Peace.